Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I trim my hair. I pretty much started cutting my hair um, for about, about three years ago um, and I was pretty much sick of people telling me how damaged my hair was and how many inches I needed to cut it and I was like no, if I'm coming and I'm telling you to cut my, just trim my ends then just do that. I just don't understand why some hairstylist or whatever they feel the need to chop your hair off when you just want to trim. Something I do want to um, let you guys know is that I'm not a professional. I haven't gone to cosmetology school. I do not do hair and my lighting has gone. <laughs> so yeah and I pretty much would recommend this for people with long hair like myself. I am very superstitious so I this is like TMI, but I don't cut my hair when I have my period, or I'm very superstitious if like it's it if it's full moon, new moon, like the moon has to be like the exact moon that for me to cut my hair. Okay, let's like off topic. So pretty much what you're gonna need, you're gonna need to brush your hair. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And as you can tell, my hair is extremely long. And I truly believe it's so long because I cut my hair myself. I cut my hair every... If I say hair one more time, I swear. I cut it every three to four months. And I just cut one or two um, fingers. And I'm just going to make sure this is all straight. Something I do want to say is that you do need to invest and get yourself a pair of scissors that you only are going to use to cut your hair. These are sold at Sally's. You can get them pretty much anywhere. Just don't cut anything else with them. I believe if you cut um, with a different scissors or whatever, it's actually worse for your hair. I'm not sure, but just in case, just buy scissors just to cut your hair whenever you need your trims. So I just pretty much part my herring two, two sides, like this. I'm just gonna keep going back because it's getting long to the point that I have to go away to the toes. So from here, what you're going to do is that with my comb, I'm just gonna make sure everything is smooth, no tangles, and then from that I see how much I want to cut. I usually cut about two fingers. So today I'm just going to cut that much. You can see right there. Okay, so I'm going to cut that much. And with my scissors, I'm just going to try to do like that so you can see. That's pretty much it. Just like that. And you make sure everything looks fine. Okay, Okay. so now that we're done with the length, usually what I do is that I do like to keep everything in one length here and then I just give myself like a little, like a little something. But this has grown a lot, so I'm actually going to try to like cut it a little bit. So I'm just going to part my hair from when my ear starts, just like that. And I'm going to bring that forward. And then right there, I'm just going to trim a little. And 
Now to trim this, I'm gonna cut upwards. You see like that? Just a little bit, quick trim, and then I'm going to divide that in two. Just like this. And I'm just going to comb all of that together. As you can see, it's really long. So I'm just gonna try to cut it a little bit. So now that we have this right here, we're just going to cu cut on an angle. And now without adding or taking off any hair, you're just going to grab like the top section here. What your bangs are. And you're just gonna go ahead and cut that. Now you're going to grab the other side of your hair. And cut in an angle. Same thing with this. We're just gonna cut in an angle. And that's pretty much it. It gives you like a nice V in the back. And then you have some layers, just the very front. So that's how I cut my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any requests, please let me know down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I will see you guys next time. Bye.